Hi, my name is Hannah, and today I will be guiding you through a couple problems that involve dimensional analysis. But first, let's review what a conversion factor is. A conversion factor is a ratio that is used to convert one unit to another unit. They are written in fraction form, and a couple examples include one minute over 60 seconds, because there's 60 seconds in a minute, one inch over 2.54 centimeters, because there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch, and lastly, one mile over 5,280 feet because there are 5,280 feet in a mile. The first dimensional analysis problem we will be solving involves Excedrin. Excedrin is available as a 200 caplet bottle for $15.51. Each caplet contains 250 milligrams of acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is dosed as 240 milligrams per 35 pounds of body mass. Solve the price per dose using your body weight. So we're gonna start with my body weight since that is the factor that we know. And now I will write out all of the conversion factors that we will use to solve this problem. I'm gonna go down to the next line. So, let me explain why I use the conversion factors that I did. So, 240 milligrams of acetaminophen is what is in 35 pounds of body mass. So if we go through pounds, pounds, they cancel each other out. There is one pill has 250 milligrams of acetaminophen. So milligrams of acetaminophen cancels out milligrams of acetaminophen. The next conversion factor is one bottle consists of 200 pills. So pills, pills cancel, cancel each other out. Then we move over here, uh, $15.51 for one bottle. So if this is on the same line, bottle, bottle would cancel each other out. Once we solve this in the calculator, the entire decimal number that we get is 0 0.26588 Now we have to consider significant digits. The initial amount that we started with is 125. That includes three significant digits. So the three significant digits in this answer is the 265. There's an eight after, so the five rounds up. The final answer will be 0 0.266 cents per dose based on my body weight. The second dimensional analysis problem we will be solving involves Advil. Advil is available as a 300 tablet bottle for $15. Each tablet contains 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is dosed at 113 milligrams per 25 pounds of body mass. And we are asked to solve the price per dose based on my body weight. So again, the factor that we know is my body weight, which is 125 pounds, and I will write out the conversions and explain them after. Okay, so of course you start with the known factor, which is 125 pounds. 
and there are 113 milligrams of ibuprofen per 25 pounds of body mass. So you pounds, pounds, cancel out. There's in one pill, there's 200 milligrams of ibuprofen, milligrams ibuprofen, cancel each other out. One bottle has 300 pills, 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 and then $15 for one bottle. So again, if they're on the same line, they would cancel each other out. Now, once you put this in the calculator, you would do 125 times 113 divided by 25, divide by 200, divide by 300, and then multiply by 15. Then the long answer you would get would be 0 0.14125, and we have to consider significant digits. The starting number has three significant digits. These would be the three because a zero before decimal does not count as significant. The final answer you would get is 0 0.14. 141 cents per dose based on my body weight. The third dimensional analysis problem involves Tylenol. Tylenol is available as a 225 pill bottle for $14.97. Each pill contains 500 milligrams of paracetamol. Paracetamol is dosed at 102 milligrams per 15 pounds of body mass. And again, we will solve the price per dose based on my body weight. So of course, we will start with the known number, which is 125 pounds, and I will write out the conversions. So just like the last two, we start with my body weight and there are, the dose for paracetamol is 102 milligrams per 15 pounds of body mass. So you pounds, pounds, cancel out. One pill has 500 milligrams of paracetamol, milligrams of paracetamol, cancel each other out. One bottle has 225 pills, 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 and then it is $14.97 for one bottle. So if they were on the same line, bottle, bottle, cancel each other out. The long decimal number that you get, once you divide, multiply 125 times 102, then divide by 15, divide by 500, divide by 225, and then finally multiply by 14.97. The decimal is 0 0.113107. We started with a number that has three significant digits. The three significant digits right there. So the final answer is going to be 0 0.113 cents per dose based on my body weight. Now we will take a look at which medicine will cost the least amount of money to cure my headache. So in the three previous dimension analysis problems that we solved, we've got the answers based on my body weight. So for Excedrin, it will cost 0 0.266 cents per dose. Advil, will cost 0 0.141 cents per dose. And Tylenol will cost 0 0.113 cents per dose. So after reviewing the final answers, it is safe to say that Tylenol will be the cheapest route to go to cure my headache. 
Our final task is to calculate the cost per molecule in the cheapest medication, which we found to be Tylenol. First, we need to start off with the paracetamol chemical formula, which is C8H9NO2. Now we need to calculate how much that weighs. So we have carbon, which weighs 12.01, and we're gonna multiply that by eight plus 1.01, multiplied by nine plus nitrogen is 14.01 times one. And then finally, the number for oxygen is 16.00 times two. Once you put this in the calculator and you solve it out just like this, the answer you get will be 151.18 grams per mole. Now we can solve the problem. So we're gonna start off with the known value, which is the cost of one bottle of Tylenol, which is $14.97. And now I will write out the conversions and explain them after. Okay, so like I said, we start with the known value, which is $14.97 per bottle of Tylenol. And then there were 225 pills in one bottle. Those would cancel. 500 milligrams per one pill. Those will cancel. One gram over 1,000 milligrams because we have to get milligrams into grams to solve for moles. So those will cancel. One mole of Tylenol is 151.18 grams, so the grams would cancel. And then lastly, we have to use Avogadro's number because we are finding molecules, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power, which is equal to one mole. Once you put that in the calculator, you would do 14.97 times 225 times 500 divided by 1,000 divided by 151.18 and then multiply that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. The long answer you get is 6.7084275337 times 10 to the 24th power. And again, we have to consider significant digits. The starting number has four significant digits. And so our final answer should have four significant digits. And in this case, the four will not cause the eight to round up. So the final answer will be 6.708 times 10 to the 24th per individual molecule of Tylenol, and that is it.